Yeah, this is the Fruit of the Loom air filter. I done broke it. I mean, it looks like it's been on Daytona. The beach. Oh! Oh, oh that didn't last very long, did that's it? That's the crankshaft. Yeah. Yep, 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 they're bad. Oh, they oh. oh. Well, look what the cat dragged in. So, on a oh, recent go-kart purchase, we actually just bought a go-kart with a 900cc Triumph engine. The seller brought this along. It had, I see a five-point harness in the pile. That doesn't go with the bike, does it? Wow. Oh, boy. So, we just bought a 900cc Triumph-swapped go-kart, and the seller threw this in for free. I believe it's a Pitster Pro 140cc pit bike, and he was gonna scrap it because I think he said the engine was blown up. Something was really wrong with it. But he wanted to donate it to us because it looks like it has some decent parts on it. Well, we're not just gonna part it out in today's episode. We're gonna see if we can get this pit bike running and riding again. So this is a Pitster Pro GPX Moto pit bike. I honestly don't know much about them. I do know that Pitster Pro is a big name in the pit bike game. Uh, I believe they are Chinese, don't know the engine size, uh, but these are supposed to be uh, really good bikes uh, in the pit bike community. So we're going to take a good look at this thing, see what all it needs, and see if there's any chance of getting it running, because we've already found some weird stuff. So, um, hey, well. Hey, don't, don't be messing with my sock drawer over there. <laughs> this is the Fruit of the Loom air filter right here, but it's, it's pretty bad. There's nothing on the dipstick. There, there seems to be oil here. There's a big dent in it. Seems like it's bent. We've never had like a street going pit bike before, so I'm really excited to get to working on this one. I think it would be sweet if we could ride it around. It's definitely gonna need tires, potentially an engine, but we're gonna do our best. I mean, this thing is sweet. It looks like it has adjustable damping on the, uh, on the shocks. It has a, a digital display. Yep, there's a, so look, you've got, yeah, you've got a, on, it says fast and slow. Look at that. I guess that would be the dampening, like, I, I don't know what fast and slow, what they're, what it, it's not the throttle, but that's interesting. I mean, this is a cool bike. We could, we could really turn it into something. Hey, that's good. That's promising. So the reason why I wanted to look at the spark plug is because if this was like rusted up or whatever, we would have a moisture problem in the head. So it looks like, seems like the the issue might be in the lower, in the bottom end, maybe not so much the top, but let's we'll keep digging. Oh, <sighs> All right, that's not a good sound. No, oh, and it's not spinning on here because we marked it, so that, oh gosh. All right, well, let's take that cover off, see what we got. Take the side cover off? All right. Sounds like it's got compression. I'll just... Take it apart like that. Perfect. So the picture is starting to get painted. The uh, clutch cable was unhooked, this bolt was loose, and one of these side cover bolts was loose. So we think that someone was either starting to diagnose it or they had already taken it apart and realized that it wasn't worth their time. We're not sure, but we're gonna find out just what's going on with this thing. Tech tip, I guess, with this is uh, take note of which bolts you have because see how there's one long one? You definitely don't want to put that one where the short one goes. But it seems like they're all the same except for one. Oh, oh, spoke too soon. See, look, we got one longer than those and then another. Oh dear, hold on. Gotta watch your gasket. It's Ooh. Already, he's already torn it. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, the gasket's already messed up. My goodness. So you see, there's a there's this is the clutch basket. Oh, well that's why. I think that's the main bearing. I'm not really sure, but I don't think that's supposed to. Oh wobble dear. Around. I don't think that's supposed <laughs> to wobble around like that. No. But that's uh, that's what caused the gear mesh problem because it's. Not this big gear, but there's a little one on the bottom of this clutch basket that 
this gear touches. So, so this is this is your start. Like this is where the Kickstarter is. It goes to that, then goes to another gear under this, and I think this is the main crankshaft. And that, that's that's not good. And that, <laughs> I think that would that would be not a uh, like a rod bearing, but a main like a like engine case bearing or something. All right. Oh. Okay. okay. So there's a gasket under this. This is interesting. And we do have. Ooh, a, yeah. a specialty fastener there. We made this tool out of a impact socket half inch. I basically cut down, made it kind of like a little castle to where these teeth are gonna go down in this lock nut so we don't damage it anymore trying to uh, punch it out. Went right in there. All right, moment of truth. Oh, oh there we dog. go. Oh. Whoo, I was getting a little scared there for yeah, a minute, Yeah, me too. Dude. Remember how I said don't don't get to the where don't get to the point where your arm's shaking. Yeah. My arm started shaking, but it came loose. Yeah, I was worried that it was reverse threads, but look at that DIY tools, baby. So still can't remove the clutch basket. And Charles had a good look, and we saw something we didn't see before. Can you hold that flashlight? Yeah, yeah and it's like not good news. So yeah, <laughs> see that crack in the case in there. So, broken engine case. Yeah. It's really looking bad. Um, so, we're just going to remove the clutch assembly anyway and just try to get a better look at it, try to figure out what caused it. We might be looking at an engine swap on I, this bike. I know. I don't want to give up. I feel like I feel like this engine... Broken ass, case is pretty bad. That's bad, but I mean, it's begging us for some help. The situation with our unknown engine is getting worse and worse. So we have the crack in the case that we showed you. We have a second one right here. And we also noticed this gear has been rubbing up against the case. And Charles, you also say yeah, that... Yeah, the sprocket has worn a hole in the case and it's... Since it's laying sideways, we got a little bit of oil coming out. Right, right there. Just a little sweaty. Oh, wow. No big deal. I mean, you could definitely still ride it with that. So we figured that because this engine has three major problems with the engine case, rather than trying to fix it, why don't we try to put it back together and make it run to see if our free abandoned pit bike with three holes in the case can do one more lap. All right, so we got this side cover back on. And uh, now we're going to remove this side cover. <laughs> There's that hole where the oil was leaking out right up there. Oh, well, it's on top, so it's okay. Yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah, just keep it out of high gear. So we're going to remove this side cover. We're going to see if we can put a nut on the uh, on the flywheel and use that to spin the engine over. So we're also going to remove the carburetor, check if we have spark. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, because if we don't have spark, that's a whole other... Yeah, that's, that's a whole, whole other can of worms, yeah. dude. Wow. The whole underside of this engine is covered in oil. Okay. Wow. So, okay. Doesn't look too bad, but it's definitely definitely had some moisture in there. So we're assuming that uh, the carburetor is junk. So uh, we're going to take a look, though. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hey. Oh, That's dude. Good. We can work with this. I mean, I see some oil on the slide. Yeah, we'll drop the bowl and see what we got, but so far, so good. Yeah, maybe somebody sprayed something in there. It's the sock that did it. It's That's sock. what saved us. Okay. <laughs> oh. <sighs> it's a sandbox in there. Look at that. No, it's pretty bad. Okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's still going. Go ahead and give it a shot, bud. Holy moly, we have some... Ow! We have spark. We had to go in the our carburetor stash. Yeah, the archives. We were, yeah, because our uh, needle and seat. Yeah, you see how that one's got like the rubber thing. So when the floats come up and stop the fuel flow, that little rubber triangle, I guess you know it's kind of a cone, sets down and see in the float. You know, it closes the fuel flow. Uh, we did not have the cone on that one. That one's just rotted away. So uh, we went and robbed one out of a. Like, what was it, like a GY6 200 carburetor or something? I don't know. But anyway, it's going to work just fine. Uh, now I got the task of, I got to finish cleaning this thing up. And it, I mean, 
It looks like it's been on Daytona. The beach. I've got it as clean as it's gonna be. Well, clean on the inside. Don't look at the outside. Let's see if we can get this thing back together. Yep. And I'm working on removing one of these side panels here so that we can fix this exhaust. This is the exact exhaust I have on one of my Trail 70s, and this thing is like, I don't know, 150 bucks or more brand new, so we're gonna try to rivet it back together. And even if this thing doesn't make our one lap goal, it's still got a few hundred dollars worth of parts on it we can use on other projects. hit when it uh yeah came down from wide open very strange um so it actually hit do you want to try a little bit of, i'll just go wide open yeah you try some darn fluid in there okay yep yeah here we go ready yep Buddy, I kind of like it. Dude. Okay. Bummer about the engine, though, man. Yeah, dude, that's I mean, the killer. I bet you it's going to be pretty fast. Because we, it has a TB parts jug and head on it. We don't know what size. It doesn't have the engine size anywhere. It's got a pretty big intake manifold. That's probably why we can't find the engine size, is because oh, the, it's stock, replaced. the yeah. stock head would have had... 108 or something put on it so so yeah it is too darn bad that we have the cracks in the engine case but we're still gonna give our one lap redemption round a shot uh in order to do that we need to now put air in the tires we need to get one of these brakes working so they're like two front <laughs> brakes installed yeah, I don't know and that. we have absolutely no rear brakes and it doesn't look like we're gonna have clutch so and no kill switch so front brake is gonna be the only way to stop this thing without or just jump pushing off. it in the dish. Just jump off. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so we've had a rainy few days, so we've not been able to test drive the free pit bike, but Ike has arrived and he's convinced us that we need to try to hook up the clutch for safety's sake. Weave it and leave it. So uh, we figured that the, um, the clutch cable that's on here is these bars are a recent addition or something, but this clutch cable is never designed to work with this factory linkage, so we just welded this nut with a slot cut in it. We're gonna show you how we're gonna hook it up. There we go. Cool, so, uh, look at that. Hey, it feels like it works. So the original bracket to hold the clutch housings back here, we had nice. to weld that washer on to reposition it. So we still have adjustability, we have clutch throw. We're not sure how long it's gonna last. Let's see. So, All right, there's gear. and we think we have more than second gear as well. So we have neutral, second gear. Oh, and the clutch may not work. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. Maybe it's not got enough throw. Maybe it needs some adjusting. Playing with okay. fire. He didn't see that broken piece in there. <laughs> no, and the clicking noise is this like fork guard hitting the tire. It's I don't... freaking me out. Yeah, it's, I might remove that. Give it a 
Still doing shot. the drill start for safety. And it broke the thing. It did, didn't it? No! Ready? Yeah. is dead. Oh, I broke it. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. oh, that didn't last very long, did That's it? That's the crankshaft. Yeah, oh. I broke the crank. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. We knew we. It felt so good you know too. What, you know what would have been a good joke is us not telling what happened yeah. to the dirt bike and be like, dude, this thing was perfect. <laughs> we spent all day working on it. Oh, we, that's we bad. Did, but oh my gosh. That is bad. Yeah. The audio of that was epic. Yeah. That, um, Should uh, we open it back oh, up? Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Can we pull it out? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I bet you it's because it's tapered. Quick release crankshaft, boys. Yeah. Oh my Dude, God. that is bad. Dude, that. Dang. He's got adjustable Dude, timing chunk. now. <laughs> There's something falling out. Oh, oh, Dude, it okay. had all the gears too. Hey. Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it went from a Pitster Pro to a Pitster Prince. No. <laughs> yeah. Put her there, oh, bud. No. Put her there, no, man. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, hey, no apology. Why are you apologizing? Dude, about? it was fast. It was. Uh, you know what? We could probably take uh, maybe the big bore out of it and put it on something. Definitely. That's, no, that, that's yeah, what I was we're going to save at. that jug yep. and head and yeah. uh, put on something else. As long as the, I mean, even if the piston did. As long as it didn't bend the valves, we should be okay. Whoops. Oh, yeah. yeah. I That's, guess the, it depends on where it, the crankshaft let, let go at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, man, I was looking forward to a uh, lap with it. If there, if there's... It I, wouldn't have lasted. No. Oh, my gosh. No. I mean, if it let go right here when I was playing with it, it wouldn't have made the lap. As soon as you had it under a good load, boom. Boom. That was it. Yeah. It was feeling oh so good, gosh. too. Okay, can we get it? Is it going to drag the tire getting it in? or? No. Can you get it in neutral? It just has adjustable timing now, guys. It'll still yeah. work. Yeah. What? Okay. Um, you know what? Why don't we get the uh, take the nut off and try to get the uh, the oh, okay yeah I'll flywheel off. Yep. I'll do and just that. get a good look. Take the flywheel off and then we'll like maybe lay it over and get the uh, side well. of the engine off. Nice. That's it. Well. Uh, we got the tool if y'all want to try the tool. Punch yeah, let's do the tool. Ah. Woo! I think you got it. Ah, I, I think the bike's falling over. No, knuckles. What? Busted knuckles. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, no. That's bad. Oh. The I don't... timing chain's over here too. Oh dear. Oh man. Oh. There's that much slot on the. I think we bent valves. We're gonna find out though, right? Yeah, of course. 
Yeah. All right. So we need to just lay this thing on down. And Man, we should have just freaking taken the free bike, parked it somewhere until we had a good donor engine. But no. We had to see if it would blow a good up. donor engine? It would have blown up no matter what. No, no, no. I'm saying... Wait. Yeah, hold on. So you're saying that the cracks we have, the issues that we knew about are different than what just happened? Yeah, the crankshaft broke. Yeah, we don't know why the crankshaft broke, well, but okay, I think okay. maybe something remember, jammed. Remember how the clutch basket was all like loose? Maybe something in the transmission came loose, or you know the you know how the basket was missing some teeth? Maybe one of those teeth jumped in like a wrench in the gearbox. And yeah. Just... This was a what was it? What do they what do they call this? An unscheduled rapid disassembly? Yeah, that's what definitely. Okay, so it kind of looks like it did yesterday. Ooh, that's a big piece of metal. That's not <laughs> that's not a hair. It's a piece Dude, there's of all little, kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage. I don't even know what that is. Ew. So I guess the goal at this point is to uh, try and ride it again. <laughs> all right. I, I guess try to take it apart to where we. We know what happened. At least, happened. Diagnose it. Oh, see, At least diagnose the oil. problem. Where? Yeah, oh, wait, kidding. hold on. I'm just kidding. There's a couple yeah. drops in there. Yeah, it looks... Never mind. Dude, we That's... put, like, good stuff in there. Yeah, Brand. I, I remember breaking the seal on that court. Because we're... <laughs> That's pretty bad. But I'm guessing there was, there was a lot of moisture in this engine. You know, like all the corrosion and all the gunk that was in it? We didn't clean it. It's like someone took this engine apart, saw the problem... Barely put it back together and left it out in the weather. Oh, yeah, that's exactly It right. filled up with rainwater, and we got to it. There wasn't any rainwater in it, but, yeah. There was back. a little bit of life left in it. it there was. You Just enough. You got everything. Just enough up. for you. <laughs> so on these pit bike engines and the uh, Honda overhead cam engines that these are based off of, that's the stator, and they are replaceable. All you need to do is pop off those two uh, Phillips screws. And you can replace it, and you can uh -huh. also see uh -huh. inside the engine. Nope, nope. ain't gonna do it. Nope. Do you have the uh, nice tool that you put up there, and you can whack it with a hammer? I don't Impact know. driver? I don't know if I still have that or not. Because uh, it looks like the tip of this screwdriver might be a different... Okay, different size. Different size than the screw. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh she snapped off. Flush, buddy. Oh, that's killer. Dude, what? It doesn't look like it, it was already cracked. Yeah. You see it? Where? Yeah. See how see how there's like a it's darker around here? The oil or whatever had already seeped in. Had already seeped in or the rust or the corrosion. So that that little shiny spot is all that was hanging on. That's that's what I It was like a off. third. What, it didn't uh, have much life left in it, I can tell you that. Well, ain't that a shame? Yeah, that's the time and chain sitting there. <laughs> so our top end is probably trash, too. Could be. I mean, I heard some pretty nasty... Some noises. <laughs> yeah. Good job, sir. Thank you. I'm good at this. You've done it again. I'm notorious for it. How do you do it, Isaac? Well, let me tell you how. You just kind of let it all hang that. out. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. more water. A little leakage. Oh, oh dear. I mean, it might be okay. I'll pull it. Are you? I pull? got it. All right, ready? Yep. Oh, fenders are going. Not for long. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, the, the valves hit. Oh, yep, 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 they're bad. Oh, oh, they're, oh, oh dude. Oh. Oh, my oh. gosh, that is so bad. Oh. That is, that's, you can fit my finger through there. <laughs> oh, my God. Should we do a leak down test? I don't think it's necessary. Look, look you can see daylight. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is bad. Ike. Hey. Holy yeah. moly. It's got a hemi. It's got a hemi. Hemispherical. Dude, that's bad. You know, one thing I noticed wow. that piston is not coming flush with the 
deck. You think we bent the rod? We I might have with it whacking both valves like that. No, nah, it looks like it's uh, it's got like the mark. The oh, okay. I think that's where it's been coming up at. Yeah. yeah. So we ran the numbers on the bore and the stroke, and we found out that this. Can I tell them? Sure. Turns out that this was a 160. So that's pretty darn big for a pit bike engine. Someone did a lot of work to this thing. Someone loved this bike. Someone loved the mess out of it. They did extensive head work, it looked like. Yep. And uh, the oh. big bore kit, uh, they, they rode this thing into the ground. The, all the separate issues we found with the case, the crankshaft being fractured, but yeah. not yet finished off. So we thought that this bike uh, deserved more than just to sit and, uh, well, we gave it one final send-off, or Ike gave it one final sure did. send-off. <laughs> but uh, the uh, valves are trashed, but we don't even have any engines that this uh, architecture would bolt onto, so it's a bummer that we trashed a 160 big board kit, but not the end of the world because we didn't have anything for it and it made for good content so if you would enjoyed us destroying this poor little 160 today leave this episode a thumbs up and subscribe to cars and cameras for future pit bike mini bike go-kart content thanks for watching visit our website cars-cameras.com pick up one of our brand new certified gap welder hoodies or one of the hats or t-shirts that we have that's a great way to help support cars and cameras thanks for watching again and we'll see you next time Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in at the end of the video and say that there's still time to take advantage of the special Cars and Cameras discount code for the Go Power Sports Megamoto 212 Complete Kit. So this is a Megamoto 212 mini bike. It comes with a Tillotson 212 electric start engine, a stage one kit, and more. And with our special discount code CCMEGA10 through the end of the year, you can get 10% off free shipping and a free go power sports trucker hat so this bike is killer value especially with our 10 percent off discount code that's only available for the next few weeks i will link the kit and our discount code in the description of today's video and i'll also link our assembly and test drive video for you to check out if you are interested anyway thank you again for watching be sure to check out this kit it is exceptional value for a brand new mini bike we'll catch you in the next one i think we blowed it up It won't start. Check for spark. No spark. No spark.